guys welcome back to another episode of no man's sky so today what we needed was to craft up what was it the uh geo uh or geo bay for the roamer and we're going to need some resources for sure we're going to need 50 uh paraffinium which we don't have and I'm not sure if there's a planet around here that will provide it without uh, making it really hard to come by so we can check the solar system and we'll see if there's a planet that we can mine it from if not then we'll go ahead and see if the space station has it just get out of here a little bit further now we need to go to a lush planet for that particular one. It's a specific um, planetary element. I'm not sure where all the planets are located. I think they're over on that side. Okay, what do we got there? Undiscovered, so that's possibly one we can use. Uh, gamma, so no, we don't need that one. Okay, let's head that way. Uh, space station's this direction anyway, so we need to get around the planet, I think. Okay, there's that planet. We discovered that. Doesn't have much on it. And it's not what we need. Uh, what else is there? There should be one somewhere around on that side. So we'll see if we can't go that way. Should be behind the planet, probably. Yeah, it's right over there. Okay, undiscovered. Yeah, not another one we don't need, so... I think that's all the planets. Let's just double check to see if that's all the planets we have. Two undiscovered ones, so that's all that we have here. Uh, we'll go to the space station. I'll try to get... what we need from there, I guess. Um, we could check our other solar systems that we're in. There might be one or two planets that aren't discovered yet. While we're doing that, we can check. Okay, that one is Frost. Starball, but it's aggressive. Uh, we've got a few ones that aren't... Oh! Star bulbs. Yeah, that's the one we need. We need to go to this uh, solar system. What one is that? Love it. T1. So... We can go to this one and get the uh, mineral that we need for sure. So we'll do that quickly. Thank you. 
Alright, so I got back to the base. We got what we need to create one of these roamer things. So we're gonna put that... Hmm... Put it over on this side, I think. And that way we'll have um, a little easier access to it. And we can change the style even, so we can go ahead and um, maybe go with a red and white theme like we've been doing. Maybe primary red and then secondary um, white. Can give it some decorations as well. Maybe some... Can't really see what's there. We'll go with that. And... That on the side. And then on the engine. We could go with that, I guess. Yeah, we'll go with the uh, the astronaut one, and then for the uh, thrusters, we can go with a uh, red color, I guess. And then we'll save that, and that'll be our theme for our rover, I guess. Looks pretty good, I think. Uh, we can update this as well to the red and white theme. There we go. All right, so that part's done. We can go back to the base computer finally, and I think the next one or the next couple ones will be the um, landing pad. So, um, not sure if that's gonna be the right one. No, okay, we'll have to choose another one. Uh, find. Yeah, there we go. It gives you like random choices that you just kind of have to pick and choose. You have like a thirty-three percent chance of getting it right. So. <laughs> All right, eventually you do get it. Uh, 98%, so let's go ahead and search archives. And um, I like reading the, the stories sometimes, at least they're, they're interesting because it gives you a little bit of knowledge. You can also go back to them and read them on the, um, the, the actual pause screen. There's a whole new system. I think they made it, it's not pretty new, but I think they made it easier to go back and read what you've uh, gone through and stuff, so it's nice. It also puts things in context if um, you're not sure what order things need to go into as well. So uh, let's see here, calling me. I can my starship uh, communicator plotting my route center. This might be the um, the uh, what do you call it one we need for the landing pad. Yep, we got landing pad. Perfect. Alrighty then. Uh, Alright, so we need to figure out where we're going to put that. So our um, iteration lost. So I think what's happened is we've gotten to the point where we can't go any further. So we'll follow the coordinates and hopefully we'll be able to um, get a little bit more information about that. Um, as far as the, uh, what do you call it, the 
landing pad. I was going to put it here, but it's just too hard to land a ship between here. So what I'm going to end up doing is we, I wanted to expand out the base this direction anyways. So I put it on this side. That way it's mostly over on this general direction. And it just comes up right next to the cliff just fine. So um, it's perfect location for putting it I guess I already set up a door so when we do get over to this part we'll be able to um, easily connect up to our landing pad now the good thing about this is our ship will now land here uh, when we teleport back to our base uh, bad news is uh, we don't have enough power to keep this base running 24 7 so um, I thought it might have been fine but it turns out we need to um, Got a little bit more power uh, in order to do that. We're going to need another solar panel. And we're going to need gold and chromatic metal. I don't know if we have all the resources we need for that. So we've got the gold. That's not an issue. 30 gold. Chromatic metal, no. Um, we have copper. We do have copper. We'll need hundred of that and what was the other one I think a metal plate we can buy those yeah that should be easy enough all right uh, might need power though not sure if this will have enough energy if not then we're gonna need some copper or not copper um what do you call it fuel We'll just wait and see if we can get it all get through this and get the amount that we need. It might be fine for fuel. If not, then we can always mine some trees or something. We also have that uh, Exocraft thing, uh, the rover, so we can get a little bit further a little bit quicker too. Um, though it doesn't have the upgrades for keeping our temperature and everything stable, but it, it can get us back a little bit faster. Alright, so that should be fine. Uh, we'll go up and buy a plate. And then we'll be able to um, finish that. So we got uh, quite a bit of stuff done. I ended up purchasing some copper and I think that's all I purchased was some copper and some stuff. 
Um, I was going to purchase some of ship fuel, but no one was selling it here, so that's unfortunate. But uh, we got uh, what we needed for the base to continue the missions, and it's just a matter of getting back home. And I had to come to a new station, so I did uh, check all the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, cargo pods and stuff like that on the station. I raided them, basically. But we were, we were able to um, talk to some of the locals, I guess, uh, probably next episode. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.